So sometimes in mathematics, we've got to deal with very large numbers or very small numbers. So here is uh, a couple of examples of very large numbers and two very small numbers. Now, as they stand, they're quite cumbersome to work with. So really what I'm looking for is an alternative way of writing them down that will make it easier for me to work with them, but also easier for me to compare them. Okay, so I could compare easily orders of magnitude, uh, especially if you're talking about maybe the distances between stars, for example, um, then I would be able to uh, very e quickly be able to show uh, one star is closer to another. Um, or it could be the relative sizes of um, uh, different sized uh, atoms and electrons and things like that. Okay, so it's quite often used in physics, biology, chemistry. So is there a way that I could write these in an equivalent form? And we refer to this as standard form. We write it in a standard form that can make these comparisons easy. So the form that we work with is we write them as something, and this something I'm going to refer to as A, times 10 to the something. And this something I'm going to put as N. So the A we're going to restrict to being greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So it could be uh, 1.2, or it could be uh, 3.874, uh, but it can't be 0 0.8, it can't be 11.2, uh, okay? It has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And the n is an integer. So it could be 5, it could be 8, it could be 15, it could be 20, uh, it could be minus 3, it could be minus uh, 800, okay? So, let's take a look at this first one. Now, the idea here is that I can write this as 2 times 10 to the something. Okay, now we've done, we've worked through uh, multiplying by 10 and powers of 10, so we can know that we could just count the zeros here, right? So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We've got 15 zeros, so it must be 2 times 10 to the 15. And that is now in standard form. The number at the front, the 2, is between 1 and 10. Perfect. And 15 is an integer. OK? So this can be written nice and succinctly as 2 times 10 to the 15. What about this one? Now, you might be thinking, OK, well, we could write that as 356 times by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. But wait, that's not right, because the 356 isn't between 1 and 10. Ah, right, so that's no good. So instead, what we need is that we need it to be 3.56. But that now makes this 10 incorrect. OK, so we need that number to be between 1 and 10. So now what we do is we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 zeros, but it's the number of places I'm interested in, 11, 12, before I get to the 3. So that would be 12. Essentially, it's where the decimal point needs to move. So um, if the decimal point needs to be uh, here, for example, 3.56, then it needs to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. OK? Right, now the third example. Now we've got 0 0.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 7. So the number at the front needs to be 5.7 because that's between the 1 and the 10. But because this number is very small, we're going to need this to be a negative integer. 
So the decimal point now needs to travel. So if this was 5.7, okay, the point here would need to move to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so this is minus 11. Likewise, for our first ex fourth example, sorry, we've got 983 here, so we would use 9.83. Okay, that's between 1 and 10, times by 10 to the power of, so if the decimal point's there, well, it needs to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so... That's how we can write it in standard form. And comparison-wise, what you can see is that we know that this number must be smaller than this number. You might be going, ah, oh, but 3.56 greater than 2. But the point of it is that here you've got a 12 and here you've got a 15. It's this number that you're looking for to compare the two. If they were equal, so if that was 15 as well, then yes, this number would be larger than that one because 3.56 greater than 2. But this number supersedes it. The 15 being greater than 12 is telling me that this is a larger number. Um, by, you know, it's by multiplying by another 1,000, almost. It's 1,000 times larger. This one and this one, well... Because minus 13 is less than minus 11, I know that this one's going to be smaller than this one. Okay? In fact, it's almost 100 times smaller. So, that is how we can write numbers in standard form. We're going to do some more practice of this, and we're going to be looking at comparing um, numbers that are written in standard form as well, and trying out some calculations that involve them.